I love a bargain. And when I saw these were under half price, I couldn't resist. What's even better is that they each have a one in five chance of winning. But I'm about to prove to you that that's actually a one in four chance. For that, I'll need at least 25 crunchies. No, I got my got my trusty croc bag here. Okay. So here we are, back at the house with my 25 crunchies, which I'm about to show you actually have a one in four chance of winning. So, out of these 25, we've got a one in five chance of winning. So I've put them into groups of five, so it's easy to see. But one, two, three, four, five groups of five, which means I should get five winners out of that. Now out of these five winners, I expect another one to be a winner. So, kind of looks like this. You bought 25, you should get five for free. And out of those five, you should get another one for free. Altogether, we have won six out of 25 that we purchased to start with. So six out of 25 actually equals 0.24, which is 24%. And if you know your maths, 25% is 0.25, so it's very close to that. If my wife had have let me, I would have bought 125 bars and showed you that if you buy a few more, the odds go up just a tiny bit further. So this 0.24 becomes 0.248, which is 24.8%, and that is very, very close to a quarter. So these chocolate bars I bought for 92 cents each actually become 69 cents when you factor in the winnings. Now, I could have got a further discount if I had have used a simple primary school mathematics trick on my docket. You can use this on any docket and I'll show you that next time. 